On November 6, 2018, the midterm elections took place. This year was different though. More people than usual voted this year. Approximately 116 million people in the U.S. voted. This election can be compared to a presidential election. The reason more people than usual voted this year was because the variety of emotions for and against President Trump. Also, many races were really close. For example, in Illinois, there was a really close Senate race. In that race, the Republican candidate only won by one vote against the Democratic candidate. Many people thought that there would be a takeover of the House of Representatives. Their prediction was correct, but Democrats did not take over the Senate. Like Obama and Clinton, Trump lost one of the houses. Clinton lost the Senate and a bunch of Democratic governors, and Obama lost the House of Representatives. In Congress before this election, Republicans had 235 seats and Democrats had 193, and there were seven vacancies. After the election, Republicans lost 29 seats and Democrats gained 33 more seats. In the Senate before the election, Republicans had 51 seats and Democrats had 47. After the election, Republicans had 51 seats and Democrats had 49. A lot of money was spent on commercials in each race because they were all so competitive. This is Andrew's News. Reporting in studio, everyone have a good day.